I'm sure you've all seen the medical dramas where the robot is being controlled by the doctors in surgeries and in training. What if I told you it's a real thing and it's called the Da Vinci XI surgical system? Gotta love the name, right? Here comes a dumb fact. In 2012, there were over 200,000 surgeries performed by this robot. The console is set with four arms. Two copy what the surgeon's hands are doing, one holds a camera, and one assists. And if the surgeon makes a mistake, the console will block the action. I mean, I just want to know what kind of error is going to stop an action. Like if the surgeon sneezes or something? How'd you like another useless fact? Apparently, the average human can only paint around 92 square meters a day. It turns out a nifty gadget called Miro can prime and paint walls of up to 929 square meters a day. That's more than 10 times more than a person! Miro can paint floor to ceiling at about 3.1 meters a minute. And it's accurate within two centimeters. It can spot doors and windows and hey, guess what? There's an app to set it up on a tablet in 15 to 20 minutes. This painter has a 360 degree view as well as a safety system to avoid hazards like people, animals, stairs, you know, stuff that could harm someone. Or I don't know, maybe cause extreme damage to what probably costs a fortune in the first place. Plus, you don't want to get sprayed in the face by a giant robot, do you? If you've seen a single episode of Cops, you know that 99 times out of 100, tasers do absolutely nothing. It's not their fault, though. When they're light, have a short range, and slow reload time, what do you expect? But good news, or bad news if you're committing a crime, this Taser X-Rep has 10 millimeter stun bullets. That's right, and these bullets are shot from any 12 gauge shotgun. What does that mean? Well, it'll increase the firing range to 35 meters. And because the bullet has a 25 gram lithium battery and mini stabilizers inside, it does tend to cause pain, which can unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, leave the target immobile for around five minutes. Here's the kicker though. There's a Mossberg Taser X12 LLS shotgun that runs for $800 just for the gun. And if you want the bullets, they're gonna run you a hundred bucks for not 50, not 25, not even 10 for one single round. Have you ever seen something and thought to yourself, man, that is literally the dumbest thing that I've ever seen. Well, I guarantee you this next one is even dumber. It's Cody Doc Rolling Bridge. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares about a rolling bridge and what's the point, right? So apparently this bridge sat dormant for years and is now a pedestrian bridge that rotates. That's right, you heard me right. Using hand wenches and probably inspired by the Victorian era. I don't know, maybe they were thinking similar to a drawbridge? Who knows? But I'd like to know if maintenance is gonna go on this thing or if it's just gonna be an epic fail. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. But this next one, we definitely feel is a pretty cool invention. It's called Sea Air, and it's a new way to scuba dive. You can go 12 meters down without an air tank strapped to your back because this one floats on the surface above you. One charge is good for five hours. And when it gets to 25%, the diver will get a warning with a flashlight. It's also great for swimming at night and weighs only 13 kilograms. It has a carrying handle as well as being environmentally friendly. So not only can you swim with the sea life, you can help save them. From what we've heard though, it won't be available for shipment until September. So be patient, little aqua people. How would you like to be strong like bull and fist like gazelle? Okay, well, the Hypershell exoskeleton won't help you lift a car or anything, but it will compensate 30 kilograms of weight, and you can run 25 kilometers on a single charge. There are nine modes of operation, and it weighs just two kilograms. Now, this will run you 300 bucks, and it won't ship until November, but hey, it'll help you carry heavy loads, your bike, and can be useful for rescuers as well. Do you think it's worth it? All right, so when you're done running your marathon and just want to drive cross country with all your gadgets and lonely life in tow, check out the safety hitch. This device isn't about being able to tow extra stupid heavy loads, but more about controlling and stopping. This is placed between the vehicle and trailer to improve stability and reversing. It has hydraulic brakes and was shown to improve stopping distance by 50% in tests and offers a more even load distribution and tire wear. They say it also reduces the amount of gas used. 
However, it costs around $10,000. So if you're in the market to spend $10,000 in gas money, then hey, you do you, man. So because I know we have viewers of all orientations and identities, I want to point out that we had nothing to do with the name of this next gadget. The Fireman's Axe, yes, for all firefighters, because it's 2023, come on, is a new axe. However, right now, it's only digital, but we'll have attachments for easy repair, a hook, crowbar, and other interesting tools. If you'd like something a little more touchable, Adventure Mate is actually on sale right now. Only 240 bucks, and it's yours. Now pick your jaw up off that filthy floor because this is no ordinary axe. It's a five-in-one axe, saw, shovel, hammer, hook, and oh yeah, it's practically as indestructible as possible. It has a carbon fiber handle, weighs 2.2 kilograms, and it's great for any outdoor enthusiast. If you have one or know someone who has one, please, we'd love to hear your review. While we're on the topic of reviews, we'd love to know how you think we're doing. If you've subscribed already, let us know your thoughts so far. And if you haven't subscribed yet, but you like what you see, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new uploads. And be sure to leave us a comment of what video made you want to subscribe. Now let's keep rolling. We've already talked about weapons, so what about drones? As our bonus item for today, the Dronaut X1, is an awesome name, is basically the equivalent to military and law enforcement type drones. It uses autonomous surveillance with a 4K camera, and its design allows it to safely enter and fly through rooms without hurting someone. Coming in at a weight of only 425 grams, it can fly for 12 minutes at a speed of 4 meters per second. What we like about this drone is that it's also great for beginners with easy control. It can fly in the dark, and it doesn't need GPS. Again, though, the price is going for $10,000. So if you're looking to drop that kind of money on a fancy toy, then I think me and you need to be friends. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I'm, j I'm only kind of kidding. I'm not kidding. Please share the drone with me. If you're seasoned enough to remember and appreciate Virtual Boy, which is said to be the first VR console, you remember it had a nice little stand, blocked peripheral vision, and was quite heavier than today's VR headsets at around 750 grams. However, the big screen beyond comes in at 127 grams, and is said to be the world's smallest headset in 2023. This one will only run you a measly $1,000. But for the price, it boasts 5K resolution and compatibility, as well as a 90 degree vertical field of view and 93 horizontal field of view. Another cool feature, when you guys buy the console, they'll take a 3D facial scan to use for each profile. I mean, come on, how cool is that? Welcome to the future, am I right? How many of you have VR games? Now, how many of you have fallen, tripped, hit your head, or otherwise almost severely injured yourself while playing? Want to put a stop to that? With Surplex, you get a lot of sensors in a sneaker. Well, what's a lot, right? 480 sensors in each pair. They recognize movement of your legs and upper body with a five centimeter mean accuracy and delay of only 30 milliseconds. Sorry to disappoint, but there are no apps, stations, or anything additional needed. Just connect to your PC and they're compatible with all Steam VR compatible headsets. These come in different options and VR headsets have a six or nine hour runtime capability. Depending on which one you get, it'll run you 170 or 200 bucks. Time for, that's right, another useless fact. I'm full of these things. One of the first experiments with a direct keyboard input to computers occurred in 1956. Now we have the Grab Shell, which is one of the newest keyboards from Japan. This keyboard not only offers a trackball and joystick, it can also fold, so now you can't even see all the buttons. Yeah, no, I can't even type fast when I can see the keys, but it can be used via Bluetooth or USB Type-C and is compatible with Windows and Mac OS. The mechanical keyboard has fully original keys, is going for $400, and started selling in February.